Morning guys. Right, it's oh, it's third and final day today. Um, apologies in advance, my voice sounds a little bit funny. I've woken up this morning with a wicked sore throat. So hopefully I'm not getting ill and it's just dry air or something like that. But we're uh, at a place today called, I don't know how you're gonna pronounce it, Luxillian Valley, Luxillian Valley. Um, it's old gunpowder mills, I believe. So just walking up through the forest now, you can see sort of the rocky outcrops and so on as I walk along this little path, but there's quite a lot of ruins here. There's still like old mine buildings and um, and bits like that. Uh, there is an adit that's draining water from somewhere. So yeah, we'll um, we'll have a really good look around. There is also a viaduct, which I'm just coming up to now. So the viaduct is up here. Don't know if you can see that just yet, but we'll, um, we'll show you that as well. I'm gonna get my camera out in a second so I can take pictures whilst I'm walking around. And then, uh, yeah, we'll have a little wander see what we can find. I have been here before so I have a good idea of what we're going to see and where I want to go and show you and uh, yeah we'll get some nice video, nice photos and uh, have a good little wander. Right, I'm just at the top now. I am. Um, I've never walked along the viaduct before, so we'll, um, we'll give you a good view of that and what we've got up here. Uh, just try and find a point where I can look over the edge. Don't know if you can really see that or not, but I'll try and find a spot to take some pictures too. There you go. This is what I love about chatting to random strangers. There's a guy here who is from, oh, I'm going to stop here and show you. There's a guy here from uh, the English Heritage or, or some Cornish Heritage. Um, and he was just telling me about the viaduct. It was built in like the 1800s. But I said to him, with all the holes in the floor, is the top replaced? But it's not. It's actually, it's a, it's a viaduct and then you've got the tramway above it. So if you look along the floor, you could see the old sort of concrete sleepers that would have had the tramway on it. And then you can also see through here then if you can see the reflection of the water or not. But underneath these concrete slabs there would have been a viaduct to carry the water across as well. So that's really cool. Um, and then he was telling me about the, um, I think he called them leets, um, which are like the um, channels of water that they guided off to mines to power mills. And he was just telling me about those as well. So I'll, um, I'll come back to those when I, when I see one and talk to you about what he was telling me and so on. Oh, this is a bigger hole, this might give you an idea. So yeah, look, so you can see now, it just goes straight through the floor there. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get you in or not. I mean, you're not gonna be able to see anything in there, but yeah, pretty cool. I'll just wipe all the muck off my fluffy microphone. Here you go, they've put some slabs in for us too. So here you go. So you can see we're one hell of a way up. We've got the train lines. And then the actual bridge itself, but I'll try and find somewhere nice to send you to get some pictures from, oh, to give you an idea of what it looks like from the side. There's the other side. So yeah, pretty crazy tool as well. We'll keep going. All right, guys, I am just trying to debate whether or not I want to go down this bit here to show you oh, a better view. Oh man, what do I do this to myself? I've got my camera in one hand, my GoPro in the other. And I've got to try and get down this wet, slippery path. And it's just, ain't going well, is it? Right, you're going away for a second so I can try and get down this without stacking it. Bear with me. Right, most of the way down now. I am here. I have just, however, realised that at the bottom I'm going to have to cross one of these uh, bits that he was talking about. I can't believe you called them now. Leets. Lats. Late. I don't know. But this is what I'm going to need to get across. So, as you can see, I'm very much on the wrong side of it. Oh, and it either looks like I'm going to get my feet wet or jump. One of the two. Uh, let me figure this out and we'll catch up with you when we're 
over here. All right, minor setback. I'm not jumping that. It might not look far from here, but that's my little landing point. I've got all my stuff for me. I'm heavy. I'm not. Oh, I'm not going to risk it. I could put my camera away and give it a whirl, but I don't fancy accidentally getting wet. So I'm going to pass on that one, I think. I think. Yeah, I'm going to pass because I don't know how I don't know how slippery the ground is on the other side, and if I miss, then oh, I'm soaked. Oh, it's train tracks over there. I wonder what that sound is. I don't know if you could hear that. Um, there's obviously a train going past on the tracks. So that would have been cool to get a picture of. I don't know how um, often these tracks are, are used though, so there's no point in me um, hanging out waiting, hoping for something, but. Oh, yeah. I am. I'm going to walk back along. I'm going to walk along the bottom here until it gets to um, a bridge or something like that, just to take me back over to the other side. So, oh, hopefully, it won't be too long. And then we'll continue and I'll show you a bit more of this viaduct from the other angle as well. Right, made it. So I'm back at the viaduct now, and I just want to show you this. So here's one of the waterways where the water runs along, which is obviously what I was trying to jump. And you can also see here the channel that would have run down from underneath this bridge here that I'm on, and it would have run off and out down there, back up to the river. Um, so there's lots of these channels there's up the top in the middle, and then there's some up the other side as well. Um, but at the moment they're doing lots of clearing work over the other side, so there's not really too much to see. But we're them. Um, We'll walk this way and I'll show you some of the old mills. I don't think this place has wheels in the mills from memory, um, but we'll definitely have a little look and, and see. And then, uh, yeah, I'm just trying to find somewhere nice to get some pictures of the viaduct. Maybe that'll get them on the way back when we're down the bottom. So we'll have a little look. All right, it's got a little cool one for you. So, at this sort of rock formation and you can see here how the rock actually sits over the river so I don't know if that's been naturally placed there or whether they actually burrowed through it to create that space I'm not 100% sure but you can see how it's like almost looks like it's just teetering on the edge which is very very cool you can see people are up and down there because I can see footprints as well I don't think there's much up in the hillside to see there. I'll just come around the other side of it and have a little look as well. Yeah, no, it is just... Almost just like it's dropped and fallen into place. Very cool. Right, made the first place on our list, which is one of the old mill wheels. So this gives you an idea of how huge these wheels would have been. And then what that would have done is the water, you can see it dripping off the top still, we'll go up there in a minute. The water runs off the top, it's the mill, and then that then turns it and it's water powered. So yeah, very clever. Unfortunately here, none of the wheels are still intact, as far as I remember. There is a place further down, uh, Trogaris, I think it's called, where they've got wheels intact, but not in very good condition. Um, the best place I've ever been was a place called Moor Wellham Quay where you jump on a train and go through the mine and they've actually got a mill wheel still inside the mine um, and that was, you know, it was just incredible 
Uh, but we'll take one round at the top and then uh, show you what it looks like from up there. All right, this will give you a really good idea of how it works. So here is one of the wheels. So it gives you a really good idea of what they were like. So yeah, those water bits, they're called Elite, which you can see up the top here. And that would run water off into the wheel pit and you had a mill either side that was powered just by falling water. So yeah, really quite impressive. I am just gonna go down here now. So I'm up on the uh, I'm up on the pit now. So you can see I've got the mill up behind me. And I've got these great big gears here. Now I don't want to get too close to the edge because it's overgrown, so it's hard to see where the actual edge is. But I'm just going to show you guys off the edge, which is down there. So you can see looking down from the gears. So yeah, really quite a quite an awesome place. There's another cool find for you. So you've got this huge spool of wire as well. That's just completely solid rotten. And then next to it, it's this little building. Nothing inside, just all overgrown, but I don't know whether it was a house or a storage unit or, or quite what it was. But I've also seen a little bit more down the path over here. So we're gonna head over there now and see what we find. supposed to be on this bit but come and have a little look at these have a little look see uh, oh you can even see there's like a bat or something flying around in there it just goes on and on so I don't know where it goes I've never managed to find the other end of it but it looks like it just hits a way for it to drain through the hillside. So I don't know if there's shafts further up and they're drainage addicts or what, but it's um, very, very cool to kind of a little nosy around. All right, so you can see here, we're back on that old tramway now. I don't know if you can see it on the GoPro, but in the, in the floor, you've got these rocks sticking out. So this is the same tramway that that guy was on about um, from the viaduct. Um, he was saying that if you go all the way down here, I think he was saying it's on the right-hand side there are some more buildings and odds and sods to look at, so I keep my eyes peeled at the moment. There's nothing but trees and bushes and so on, but the path goes all the way down there. I can already see there's a structure that goes over the top of me. Um, now I don't know whether what he meant is that the path I'm on now is the tramway, or whether that's another tramway above it. So we'll, um, we'll be looking around the entire area and have a look and see what we find. But, you see how they carved it down to the rock. And I think what he said was that, um, he said they used the power of water going down um, to bring um, like trucks up. Um, so I'm not quite sure where the running for the water is, but yeah, some in some way, shape or form, trucks were brought up here on the tramway using the power of water, I imagine on another wheel something like that so yeah very cool would have been amazing to see it in the day amazing <laughs> I don't know if you can hear that on the mic or not something's making some crazy screeching sounds um, I don't know what it is 
whether it's a bird or a squirrel or what, but whatever it is, you can hear it going nuts. I am, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that is. I've heard it before. I've heard it in the New Forest and I'm shooting at Beaulieu before, but I thought it was maybe like pheasants or something, but yeah, no, that sounds a bit, whatever it is, it ain't happy, is it? All right, I think I'm most of the way back along the bottom path now. I'm following the, uh, the railway line that's down there. I don't believe there's any other path in between me and the railway line because at times I've been pretty close to it. So um, I don't think there could be any other paths. But I haven't seen any more buildings. So at some point I must have taken a wrong turn. Um, just trying to find anything that sort of takes me anywhere. Just looks like a, another channel. Yeah, not much going on on this one, but I know there's some buildings over the other side, so if we get a chance, we'll walk all the way over there today as well. But we might not because it's going to be absolutely hammering it down within the next sort of half an hour or so. Um, and the road is already flooded, so I am um, would like to get my car out before it floods anymore. As my car's not the tallest of things, so it doesn't bode too well in there. Uh, in water but yeah we'll uh sorry i'm still looking around for mushrooms and other bits and bobs but i'll um i'll see if we find anything else before we get back to the car park rain's just starting so i am now making my way back to the car oh didn't find any more buildings i did run down and just see the river very very quickly but um i've still got a little bit of a way to go to get back to the car so Gonna do that now in the hopes I can get there before it really starts hammering it down um, and then get myself back and we'll grab some food. Oh. 